Eric Garner's family says the NYPD's decision to fire Officer Pantaleo was only part of the justice they've waited for for five years. Garner's mother is taking part in a rally this afternoon at police headquarters. CBS 2's Tony Aiello is there in lower Manhattan. Tony? Christine, the speaker is making it clear there is still much anger and bitterness about how this case has played out over so many years. One speaker at this rally calling the firing of Daniel Pantaleo, quote, a mere glimpse of what justice should look like after five long years. No justice, no peace. It is the decision Eric Garner's family demanded, but for them, it still feels like incomplete justice. How low are our standards today? That's right. Mm. That we should be expected to celebrate the firing of a man that violated office and departmental policy, right. applied a fatal chokehold to an innocent unarmed man, yeah. and was allowed to continue to enrich himself. In 2014, a Staten Island grand jury refused to indict Officer Pantaleo on criminal counts. Then, a five-year review by the Obama and Trump Justice Departments ended with no civil rights charges. The Garners did collect almost $6 million in a wrongful death settlement with New York City. Emerald Garner, who believes her father was murdered, takes some measure of satisfaction in Monday's decision. Commissioner O'Neill, I thank you for doing the right thing. I truly, sincerely thank you for firing the officer. Regardless to however you came up to your decision, you finally made a decision that should have been made five years ago. The police union leadership is portraying the firing as a betrayal by top NYPD brass, claiming Commissioner O'Neill buckled to political pressure from Mayor de Blasio. To stand and watch the press conference by the police commissioner to basically say that he followed the politics rather than the rule of law and the evidence is absolutely embarrassing. In a memo to membership, Lynch told cops, quote, for every job involving a possible arrest situation, immediately request a response by patrol supervisor and additional members to help control the situation, an approach which could significantly slow down the rate of arrests. Reverend Al Sharpton slammed the PBA for labeling those who wanted Pantaleo fired as cop haters. No, we expect more of police, and we have the right to expect that at least they're going to follow the guidelines that they were trained on. Reverend Sharpton says he wants this House Judiciary Committee, chaired by uh, Gerald Nadler of New York, to look at all the circumstances of the Garner case. Uh, the Garner family also pushing for a ban on chokeholds in state law rather than having chokeholds addressed administratively in patrol guides. Live at One Police Plaza, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News.